Hello, grade five. Let's start lesson one, unit one, light. Do you know light? Yes, we said that. Light, it's a form of energy. Yes, light is a form of energy. Also, it's a form of energy that can be seen. We took an example of an energy like sound energy, electric energy, and magnetic energy. Excellent. Okay, you have to know also visible spectrum. What is the visible spectrum? Visible spectrum, it's a light energy which can be seen. It's a light energy which can be seen. Okay. The sun. The sun is the main source of light on Earth. Also, it's natural source of light. Okay. Let's see. The sources of light is divided into two groups, natural and man-made. Okay. Natural like sun stars, man-made like candles, electric lamp, kerosene lamp. Okay. Okay. Properties of light. The light has five properties, which is travel in a straight line, transmits, reflects, refracts, and separate. Okay. First, I want to ask you a question from the previous grades. You know that why the moon seems shiny? Huh? Why the moon seems shiny? Yes, excellent. Moon reflect the sunlight. Moon reflect the sunlight. Excellent. Okay, let's start our activity one. How does light travel? Okay, if we get three partition, three partition of cartoon or wood and make a hole on the same distance, okay? And then we light a candle huh? and stand on the other side. What you will see? Yes, we will see the light of the candle, right? Okay. So if we uh, move partition B upward, okay? So the hole will not be on the same distance. So what will happen? We can't see the light of the candle. And this is proof that light travel in a straight line. When the hole were in the same straight line or in the same distance, we can see the light. While when we move the partition and we move the hole upward, the light can't pass through the cartoon. Okay? Okay. Activity two. Formation of image through a narrow holes or an idea of a camera. Okay, let's see. Here, when we get a cartoon box and from one side we will remove it and add a semi-transparent paper and from the other side we will make a small hole and then we will add candle and light it. What will happen? What we'll see on the transparent sheet or transparent paper? We will see the flame of the candle. We will see the candle inverted and minimized. Inverted and very small. Why? Because light travel in a straight line. So here, what is the observation? Minimize an inverted image of candle is formed on semi-transparent paper. Why? Our conclusion is light travel in a straight line. Okay, excellent. Let's start activity three, formation of shadow. Here, do you remember shadow? Yes. Okay. What is the shadow? It's a dark mid area formed as a result of falling of a light on an opaque object. Okay. When you become nearer to the object of the light, the shadow will be bigger or smaller? Excellent. The shadow will be bigger. While when you go far away from the object, your shadow will be smaller. So why shadow form it? because of light travel in a straight line. Excellent. Okay. Light transmit through different materials. How or what those materials? Transparent, semi-transparent, or translucent, opaque. Okay. Transparent like a glass, semi-transparent like tissue paper, opaque like wood or cartoon. Okay. Okay, let's compare between the three material. Number one, transparent, two, semi-transparent, and three, opaque. Okay, transparent material, it's allow most light, 
allow most light to pass through and the object can be seen clearly okay type well, like what like air glass transparent plastic okay what is the semi transparent or translucent they are material that allow some some light to pass through allow some light to pass through and the object can be seen less clearly here in a transparent clearly in a semi transparent less clearly transparent allow most light semi transparent allow some light okay okay example of a semi transparent like frosted glass and tissue paper okay opaque they are material that don't allow light to pass and object can be seen example wood rock human body okay light reflection what is the light reflection light reflection occurs so we can see you can see without light no there is must be light to see so how we see the object when the light fall on an object the light will then reflect it to our eye and we so that it is stable it's bored it's a class okay so what is the light reflection light reflection it's the bouncing or a turning back of a light ray when a light fall on a surface okay okay the type of light reflection we have two type regular and irregular regular reflection when the light fall on a smooth shiny surface and the light ray were reflected directly in one direction. The reflect, light ray were reflected in one direction. While irregular reflection, look at the photo. The reflection of a light on a rough reflecting surface where a light rail ray will scattered in different direction. Okay, so you have to know that regular reflection light ray reflected directly in one direction white or irregular it will scattered or reflected in different direction okay okay here we said it more and more and more okay cup and you will add water and then a spoon or pencil and see what will happen okay we will see the spoon broken the spoon looks broken that's observation by the way well. okay so what is the refraction it is the change in the direction of a light ray when light passes through the separating surface between two transparent media due to the change in the speed as we said Imagine that you run very fast to jump in the pool. When you run through the air, you will be very, very fast. And then when you start to touch the water, your speed will be slower, right? That's what happened to the air. The speed of the air is the speed of the light. In the air, is very fast, while in water, it will be slow, okay? That's make the phenomena which is called light refraction. Okay, light separation. You remember the glass prism? We use it to make what? Yes, it's proved that white light consists of seven spectrum light color. Here, the prism separate white light into seven spectrum color, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Okay, you have to study it well. Okay, the first one is red, and the last one is indigo, is violet, sorry. Okay, so light separation, what is the light separation? It's the separation of a white light into seven colors called spectrum colors. Okay? Okay. That's all. Let's start uh, answer task one in the booklet together. Give reason. Images can be formed using narrow hole because light travel in a straight line. Formation of shadow because light travel in a straight line. The image that is formed through a narrow hole is inverted and minimized as the result of a light uh, travel in straight line. The main source of light, sun, natural source, sun or star, and from the artificial source, electric lamp. Thank you, grade five. Let's see, see you in the next video, inshallah.